so hype beast mystery box uh. you guys seen this oh, oh sure did. crazy uh, sure before did. we get into that before we get into that been a little while since we filmed what do you guys got on feet what are you guys Ooh. rocking man i've been rocking the white cement reimagined super heavy too crazy fresh. too fresh every day and they still look fresh and they look fresh man yeah. i mean uh i i said they're shoot a year already mm. so i got Fox, those man. on uh, just almost sold out on rlc workwear jacket and yeah. i've been really I've been copping fit is a lot lately. Ooh, good. I see uh, Johnny been kind of collecting for a long time, so yeah. I'm like, you know what? Nice way to add this. some color. Nice way yeah. to add yeah. some color. Yeah. Is, that a, is that a pretty like exclusive one or? It's like a restock. You know, okay. the original one had like a patch, a side patch, something like that. But I actually What's prefer no no patches on the side. I do too. I just it looks sometimes cleaner. the patch like uh, deforms the shape of the hat where it like sticks yeah. out. Yeah. You know sometimes what? It'd be yep. too big. Exactly It'd be too big. Got a whole script on there. Exactly. A little, exactly. Yeah. So no, I shout out to all the, the fitted culture, man. Yeah. Looks it's good there. Man. It looks good. It's crazy. Idea. We got we got the OG fitted king right here, oh, BBJ. Um, I'm a mere peasant to you, new king. Kings there's out a there. lot of <laughs> kings there's of caps. There's a lot of fitted There's kings. a lot, man. Yeah. I get overwhelmed looking at it. I even see shorties. There's a little shorty I saw. She's like an ambassador. Oh yeah. She's got like a million hats. I'm like, really? Yeah, it's crazy. But pink brims, pink brims. Is that what that Something know. like that, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I got a little. You know, Canadian tuxedo on today, Richard Lee collection. Oh, man. Michigan Dunks, Looks little SMA, uh, SMS, uh, Kendrick T, and then a little Montreal fitted, you know? Real Canadian today. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian um, eh? well, uh, you rich. For myself, I just got the um, Francais uh, Kith Call Care on. Force. We pronounce it everything different now, they Francais. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a little Francais. Wait, what would you say out of the three, the Hawaii's, Japan's, and those, this one? I used, to, I used to like the Hawaii's the most uh, due to that, that teal, that, yeah. but I would say these are like, I mean, you got the blue, you got the red, you got the, uh, the uh, <sighs> that flag. Jewel swoosh the, is crazy. I the feel swoosh. like blue, red, white is the staple you can wear with anything. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I, I would take these, Hawaii's, and then the Japan's. Mm, I yeah. It, I and then it. Uh, I got some um, trousers right here, kind of cut the bottom so it's a little bit uh, more that frayed. Edge. That's and not Rich Lee collection? The pants? Yeah. Nah, they're from a brand called uh, Rez. I'm gonna need oh, a, little, a little link to that. I like those. those yeah, nice sure, right there. And then, um, a cool trouser. Yeah, they were super baggy when I got them. Almost looked like a suit pants, but I had them tailored, mm. and then it, it, it fit way better. And then uh, we got a uh, RLC sample <sighs> right here. Kind of like a evolution of the uh, cable knit sweaters exactly. that we just dropped. Yep, yep, and uh, yep. speaking of that drop, man, huge shout out to you guys. Absolutely killed it. We still got some select pieces on the website. If you guys want to shop some um, some of the RLC, so mm -hmm. check it out. And then uh, also got the Angel snapback that oh, we will. Oh, they're not ready for that. A lot of people have been asking about this one. Uh, we're about to go crazy, rolling out some dope colorways, some yep. neutrals, some vibrant ones. For sure. And yeah, that's what I got on. All right, so there's been this topic floating around right now. Sneaker cars involved, a bunch of kids, uh, parents losing their money. Oh, um, man. The Hype Beast mystery boxes at SneakerCon. Um, what do you guys think about this? Uh, oh, shit. I mean, at first, I, let's give them a little... Let's give them a little breakdown. A breakdown. Let's all give right. Give them a breakdown, yeah. right? So uh, it is from a uh, sneaker store from Vegas. The owner's name is uh, Chase Briner. Okay. He's the one that's kind of been like the face sure. of the boxes. Yep. Okay. Three hundred bucks gets you one box yep. with one sneaker at Sneaker Con. Yep. I'm not gonna lie. It's like packaged really nicely. The box yeah. looks nice and everything. And then um, a lot of viral videos have been going around because people are receiving something that is. Not even close to 300 Duds. Bucks. A lot of duds out there is what yeah, they're saying. Yeah, did you see the uh, the camel dunk one? Oh, man, that was sad. Then it flashes to stock X price, mm. and it's actually like 90 what? bucks or something so like that. So the 300 was Chase's store's price, I yes. think. Yeah. To justify the price. So what he's doing Man. is he's still trying to justify that these shoes are worth $300. But my friend, they're not. when it comes to mystery boxes, eyes, the market is what spoken. we've done, because we've done some boxes in the past. Exactly. And we've always said, hey, you're going to get at least equal value. At least. Yes. And it with a chance to yeah. hit on something crazy. What was that? He's doing the opposite. He's like, most of them are... $300 worth, but then you're going to get some of those Campbell Dunks. But I do see some, you know, he is throwing in those phantom Travis Scotts well, here and there. So yeah. he's, he is trying to do, do some good. Do you guys think a mystery box has to have at least the value of what you're paying? Brother. Is that the rule? Well, traditionally, oh. what I've seen is... I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so, Johnny. Like, forget yeah. that. That's what it should be. But mystery boxes opinion. traditionally also have multiple items in it. This yeah. is kind of like a raffle. Oh, this is like... Yeah. 
a, a lotto. <laughs> yeah, it's like a yeah. lotto. Like you're not sure what you're going to get, right? Exactly. And, and, and the way margins of shoes are as a buyer, I would imagine like there still should be room for you to make profit even if Here. you were to break look, even. Look, 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 look. Man, his, he must have hit a lick. His, yeah, yeah, right? Exactly. Oh, his feel good yeah. moment is when he does capture someone actually getting a pair of shoes worth way more than $300. Yeah. But let's, let's, let's be real. One out of three shoes. Uh, you know, it's, that's the higher percentage. All the so videos I've is, seen have been pretty bad, man. Like, so I can't even watch them. Let's see what he gets. Nike Dunk High All Star. So he's I was gonna bring that bricks. up. Yeah, he's I was pushing bring, bricks. Yeah, I was gonna bring that up. So he said, and he, and, you know, I appreciate him being transparent during this time. It's kind of like you got caught. And you kind of got to see what you got to do. So he is being transparent. He said when it first started, it was one out of uh, four shoes. That was going to okay. be heaters. Got then it. he changed it to one out of three for yeah. the event. But what you're saying is, even on his personal page and stuff like that, people are saying, you're just rolling out duds. Like, yeah. who's who's actually getting these dubs? Exactly, yeah, I, man. So you see one with a, a, a good I saw a kid, a, a younger a younger kid that got a pair of Travis Scott Phantoms. Okay. And I was happy about that, yeah, right? Because yeah, a sure. young kid and everything. But I thought about it. I was like, most of these guys are young kids that man. actually... You, you, know, you see it's like so bad for the parents. You know, they just go into a sneaker they con for their kids. Their kid asks for 300 bucks. It's like... They're never letting their kid go to a sneaker con ever again. I'll yo, tell you that even much. Even the like, kid no, that no, got no. the panda dunks, like, I someone get... Someone got panda dunks? Someone got panda dunks, right? A little kid got panda dunks, and he was more so, like, shocked. Because I know some places do sell panda wait, dunks wait, wait, for more than 300. Because some people be loving panda dunks. I feel it, but as a kid going to a sneaker con event, he's over here like, I'm so tired of pandas i don't care oh, if they're so worth 300 it was like a dud shoe like out of everything at <laughs> least you could have gave me something better he's like i could have just bought these myself right at that table right there exactly i mean man. that's the risk you take and just i, I just kind of want to like put a disclaimer out there yep, like man exactly. you guys are spending your hard-earned money to basically i'm not asking like you know game. Oh, a, a, a little transparency <laughs> you know what is mr box what are you getting yourself into i think that's what he's missing uh, a lot when he's trying to explain, or I don't know if he's explaining like the rules of his mystery boxes. So mm. he needs well, to be a little a lot more, more clear. Like, now. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, something obviously. I, I'm pretty sure he's smart enough to like. He's gonna make some sort of change and like i don't know but, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah we'll, we'll see but um i wouldn't really spend my money like that but i you know i can't speak for others maybe they like the thrill of it people are videotaping left and right exactly you know? yeah. and uh, imagine the ones that Imagine the reactions of the ones that didn't get on, like, the camera. I really, you know, you just get, like some, you just go in get the some corner. people that are probably heated. Yeah, uh, I think the, like, what kind of threw me off was the sticker price at the bottom. Yep. Because it makes you seem like the sneaker's worth 300 in the moment, yep. right? You see that price, yep. but then you probably go to the side, research the sneaker, and that's when you're like, you feel like you got finesse. You feel yeah. like you got finesse. I'm sure he's been called out. Um, from people like at the event. I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it is crazy that people are defending him. Yeah. And I just think that's where there's no certain, like, you know, clarity of what he's really doing. You yeah. know, uh, again, the mission boxes need to be way more clear. I would like to know. I am going to get at least $300 worth yeah, of things. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys or think more? it should be at least $300? Or do you think it the can, risk the, the risk of uh, getting something super expensive, but you might get something that's like ten dollars? Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, man, uh, we are going to be at SneakerCon Seattle yes, well, sir. Uh, coming up, so definitely uh, check us out there. Tribute will have a big booth and everything. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty excited about that. Got some international travel as well. And um, you guys got any last words? Any uh, man, advice uh, or anything? Super man. excited! For, I'm super excited for SneakerCon. It's like the first one yeah, ever yeah. in Seattle. Uh, in Seattle, yeah. and they've already said tickets are on pace to break some records. So Flying. Flying. see y'all there, man. Oh, I just want to say, man, you guys work hard for your money, or your parents work hard for their money. <laughs> spend it wisely. Yeah. Just spend it wisely. For sure. SneakerCon is supposed to be a safe, good environment, man. It is, man. It is. I, I, I'm glad SneakerCon, you know, was able to kind of separate themselves and investigating on the situation because at one point we kind of thought that they were part of the whole thing too. Oh, the, the way they, with the boxes looked like it was sneaker con. It the was like, way they like <laughs> said the message too made it seem like it was them. That like, they were part of it, yeah. Yeah, I would have worded it differently. Like we are investigating this guy, yeah. this vendor, you know, but yeah, I don't know. The way they uh, worded it was kind of weird. Yeah, no, for sure. Either way, feel like it's a, it was a it was a bad move on his part yep. even though he's justifying and doing all that I mean could, I mean props to him for like at least sticking up for his business and like yeah. that, I wouldn't even call it sticking up just at least like responding not like hiding you no, know for sure don't be for cowardice sure. right sure. don't be cowardly you know? all right guys uh that pretty much wraps it up for the uh hype beast mystery box uh I don't even want to call it scam. Just Hype Beast Mystery Box thing that's going on right now let us know what your guys' thoughts are and um man Yo, I just I'll tell you one thing though He's going to learn from the situation, and we're going to see some more heat 
with his mystery boxes, I, I feel hope like. So. Bring that. Bring should some we buy one? I know we should buy one. one. I'll put up. We should buy one. We should buy one. We should all buy one at next sneaker con. Yeah, we should buy one, man. Wait, yeah, we should, because there's one out of three of us. One of us gonna get the heat. We have to, right? <laughs> See, that's when you talking like a gambler now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Peace.